We've all heard that penguins mate for life, but in reality, nature doesn't really do monogamy. Hey animals, thanks for stopping by D News. I'm Trace. Humans tend to personify pretty much every other creature on this planet, and with love being one of our more desired emotions, we really work to see it in nature. We really don't have to look that far to see some of the happiness that we hope for in ourselves. Plenty of animals, like penguins, are monogamous, but even penguins will cheat on their partners in some species and situations. True mammal monogamy is actually really rare, only three to five percent of the 5,000 mammals do it, but there are some monogamous heroes out in the natural world. For example, the most monogamous bird is the albatross. The albatross flirt by dancing, which they learn from hanging around with older albatrosses. Kinda sounds familiar. They'll go out dancing with lots of different partners until they find the right one, and when they do, they pair up forever. A mated pair of albatross can be apart for months and will still return to the nest at the same time. They cuddle with each other, they never snapchat anyone else, they never divorce, no matter what, even if the male does the dirty bird with another lady, yes, the males do cheat, but they'll stay together. Gibbons are the closest human relatives who mate for life, finding a mate when they're young and trying to make it work for the kids. Once they mate and form a family unit, they'll all live in the same territory, they'll groom each other, they're socializing. It all sounds kind of a mid-century American family. Family, but the gibbons know the difference between social monogamy and reproductive monogamy. In gibbons, females are the head of the family unit, then the offspring, and then the male is at the bottom. Cheating and casual sex with other members of the group happens, and the monkeys will even kind of get a divorce, separating from their family groups and striking out on their own. Monogamy in nature starting to look kind of more like human monogamy. What do you think? Yeah. Bald eagles mate for life too. Once they pick their mate, the two eagles build a nest together, returning to the same spot year after year. They expand their nest each year, so bald eagle nests can grow to 10 feet across and weigh as much as a half a ton. The baby eaglets are on their own four months after birth and can live for 25 years. That is the cutest name ever! That would be like you being kicked out at 11 months old. That sounds kind of rough to be an eagle. Not to mention, the couple splits up and does the long distance thing during migration season, getting back together only during mating season. But the animal rated by me to be the most passionate, the most pure, is the prairie vole. A study in Nature Neuroscience found that when a male vole and a female vole meet, and they're both single, their brains are irrevocably altered by massive releases of oxytocin and vasopressin. Their genes actually switch and boom, they are addicted to each other. They work together, they play together, and if he needs to fight for her, he will do it like the Dread Pirate Roberts in that classic movie, The Princess Bride. It's classic. Though, funnily, if you give the guy a little bit of alcohol, he'll go chill with the stranger bull. <laughs> Monogamy. It's never easy, but it's out there. Messing with it can be real bad. But what do you think? If you believe in monogamy, tell us down below. And if not, tell us why. Let's talk about it. You can also come find us on Twitter at DNews or come find me at Trace Dominguez. Thanks for watching. For more DNews, click subscribe. See you later.